Okay, so in today's math lesson, we uh, <clears throat> well, we had a real interesting time. Things got uh, got pretty wild there for a little while, and complicated. So what I decided to do was take one of the homework assignments, one of the homework problems, excuse me, and to uh, to solve it right here online. So if you're having problems with the homework, here it is. Here's problem number one, and hopefully it helps you out a little bit. So while shopping, we have uh, Kyla. She found a dress she wants to purchase. However, she doesn't have enough money. Uh, she needs another $52.25 to actually get the uh, dress. But she does have a job. She babysits, and she charges $5.50 an hour for babysitting. Um, but she wants to figure out how many hours she needs to work so that she can make that $52.25 to buy the dress. And it says use a double number line to support your answer. Okay, so here we go. What I like to do very first and foremost is to build myself a nice little ratio chart so I can see what's going on. So I'm going to do that. So here we are. So right on the side here, I'm going to build a little ratio chart. And I'm going to circle some values here. Okay, so she needs $52.25. That's important to know. And of course, uh, $5.50 per hour. So that's a rate. And I'm going to put some nice little lines through here. Not sure if I have enough or not, but I have a feeling it's going to be a long one simply because I need to get the $52.00. And 25 cents. So here's my one, five dollars and fifty cents. So here's the dollar amount over here, and these are the hours that she needs to work. And after two hours, uh, I'm going to notice that well, I need to add another five dollars and fifty cents for each hour, and that's going to bring me to uh, eleven. Now I'm going to start le start leapfrogging a little bit here and cheating a little um, because I'll notice that for every two hours. Um, she makes $11, basically, for every two hours. So if it's one hour, it's $5.50. Two, uh, two hours is $11. So I'm just going to jump right to a four here, and I'm, wind, I'm going to add an, an $11 this time. And now I'm going to start leapfrogging up or down, depending on you know what, you, uh, what your thoughts are on that, whether I'm going up or down right now. I'm going to add another $11, another two hours. Uh, so that's going to bring me to $33. And ooh, 30, just $33. Sorry about that. Just $33. And I'm going to go to eight hours, add another $11 for that total, and she's making some serious money now. $44. And I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little close. So I'm going to go to a nine and then a 10. So if I go to a nine, that's one hour more. $5.50. So, or adding $5.50. So that's going to bring me to a grand total of $49.50 there. And this one is going to be yet another five dollars and fifty cents because I added just one more hour, and that's going to bring me to uh, fifty-five dollars. Okay. All right, so fifty-five dollars. Now I need a grand total of fifty-two dollars and twenty-five cents. I'm gonna change colors here so you can see what goes on here. I, which means it's somewhere in here, somewhere in between forty-nine dollars and fifty cents and that fifty-five dollar mark. The hours, therefore is in that same spot, exactly uh, you know where it would be for the money, but between the 9 and the 10 hour range. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I kind of like calling this zoom in. And this is where I'm going to use my double number line. Okay, So I'm going to use green here for my number line. And I'm going to zoom in on that area there. So I have 9 hours here, 10 hours here, because my answer is somewhere in between that. And the values or the money earned in that area for the nine hours is $49.50. And for the 10 hours is $55 in the same spot, right? So everything matches up well because the ratios are equivalent. So everything inside is going to be equivalent as well. The big question is, where does that $52.25 land in between these guys, in between those two values, $49.50 and $55. And you'll notice after a little bit of calculation that actually, believe it or not, the $52.25 falls right smack in between the two. So we actually have uh, the same total between both sides here. Okay. So if I was to count up, let's see, from $52.25 to $0.55, I would notice that I'm, uh, let me see, 52, 53, about three dollars, two dollars and 75 cents away, two dollars and 75 cents away on this side, and this is two dollars and 75 cents on this side as well. Okay, so I know that 52 dollars and 25 cents is right smack in between. 
which means for the hours worked on the top here, it's in exactly the same spot. I need that value right now. And again, it's right smack in between. It's right smack in between. So if this value from 9 to 10 is one whole, okay, I need halfway, okay, right smack in between. So this would be half a value, half of 1, right, half of 1, and another half of 1. So right smack in here is 9 and a half, okay? So that value is 9 and a half. Now, I was, this one isn't so complicated in that regard. What I was showing the kids also was to zoom in on this area if you need to. So if you need some other fraction um, with that value, so that value is 1, and between 9 and 10 is 1, what I would do is I would build a tape diagram and show that that value, the total is 1, and I need the space right smack in the middle, which separates that tape into two parts. I want to find out the value of each of these parts, okay? Which means I'm going to take one, I'm going to divide it by two. All right. Here's my one total. There's my one total, and I need to find out, you know, what each of those is worth, and they're two parts. So two goes into one zero times for zero. Subtract, I get one, which means each is worth one half. And that makes total sense, okay? Each is worth one half, and there you have it. Um, and that's kind of how it works there, okay? Now I know that each is worth a half, which I already knew. And the only thing I'm not done yet, uh, done with it, is noticing that, remember that this is nine, and I need to get to that spot there, which is another half, which is why the total is indeed nine and a half, okay? So uh, that's the deal, folks. Um, hope you enjoyed that. And um, all right, good luck on the next problem. Actually, the next problem's not so bad. <laughs> Take care. So long. Bye-bye.